What's up everybody, I'm the Man Goose, you are awesome, and it's been a while since I did one of these road back videos, and there has been a lot that's changed, mainly a brand new game. I'm going to take some time today to give you some updated information on the games that I've been covering for what seems like forever. I'm not going to go in any particular order today, but I will talk about the pair of zombies first. You can jump to who you want to see via timestamps and a pinned comment, and you can also find many of these social media links for each company in the video description below. The biggest news right now is Team Soul Eve with Overprime. They recently released a combination cinematic and gameplay trailer with a date at the end of 18 March. While they won't say outright that this is an alpha or a beta, they do say that it's the date that Paragon fans will be happy. They also revealed that on the 14th they will have an exhibition match pitting various streamers against each other and allow them to preview the game for us. I will not be involved with that as I am not a streamer, but I will certainly be watching Britic stream cheering him on. I'll have his Twitch linked in the video description below. Strange Matter has had two alpha weekends now where they've allowed members of the community to play the game as well as letting many testers stream their internal testing gameplay. While they still have a long way to go towards bringing the game to a state comparable to late Paragon, they've certainly made a commendable amount of progress in the short time that they've been working on Fault. Notably, they've added both Steel and Boris to their already impressive lineup. Keep your eye on their social media so you can try to grab a key the next time they hold an alpha weekend. We haven't seen much out of Predecessor of late, however that certainly doesn't mean that they aren't working on it. Rubo recently shared this video of him working on the start stop animations and it looks to be really well done. The team over at Omeda has some valuable knowledge about how Epic went about making Paragon and will be able to apply that in the creation of Predecessor. They still have the very legacy-inspired map and are currently laying the system groundwork to allow them to speed up production of the game in the future. The last time I played Predecessor was around September, and even then it looked really, really good. Hopefully they've been fixing bugs and ironing out some of the issues they had with the gameplay. Another one that we haven't heard much about lately is made a buff with their game Core. While many will claim that this one is dead, I assure you that their team is still working on the game. Last I heard was that they were going to lay low and then try to come out with something big whenever they're ready. No news from Visionary Games and Project Phoenix Rising either. I'm a little concerned with these guys. We haven't gotten any news from them in a very long time. I do hope that they can come out with something because Visionary Games were the first ones to relight that Paragon torch for the community. And they kind of relit my creative torch too. Now on to my personal bay, Undying Games with Ethereal. Not much new from them, however they have been posting interesting facts about the development of the game in their Discord. I'm glad they did that because it explains what the holdup is. I've told you before that the riots in Colombia set them back a bit, but I couldn't tell you why. Since they released some of the info on their Discord though, I'll go ahead and get into it. They have a motion capture studio for the creation of their animations located in Colombia. They plan to have over 400 animations for each of their myths. By comparison, the Paragon assets had maybe 100 to 150 per hero. So you can see that with that many animations needing to be created, and a mocap studio located in a country experiencing massive civil unrest, there are going to be some setbacks. Hopefully not too long though, I know many of you are looking forward to this game. For all of you Paragon fans that flocked to Gigantic after Paragon's fall only to watch that game also shit the bed, there is still some hope to be found through Project Stamina and their game with an as yet unreleased name. I've been able to playtest Project Stamina, it's been an absolute blast. Most of their meaningful updates involve the creation of modular systems that can be reused in the development process. They're taking their time during this phase of development to build a solid foundation to grow on. Revan Blade has shit to do with Paragon, but I want to bring some more attention to this game. It's an indie arena brawler that is currently in testing. Anyone can come test, just join their Discord link below and be available on Wednesday evenings. I've been having a lot of fun with it, and it would be awesome if more people would join in. Well, that about sums it up. I'm going to go over some of my opinions and concerns. I also have to admit that I think I may have been wrong about something in the past. I used to say that having so many people trying to resurrect Paragon was a good thing because it gave us a choice between which one we preferred. However, now that there are so many options, I can't help but be a little concerned. There are only so many people interested in a Paragon reboot. Only a fraction of the old fanbase still cares about the game. Also, most of the Paragon player base were PlayStation players, and none of these games are going to come out on console anytime soon. That is cause for alarm because we're a fraction 
of a fraction of a fraction of the original players and we are being fractured by options. All of these games are, at some point, going to need money in order to improve. However, unless you have the expendable income for it, it would be foolish to throw your monetary support behind any one of these projects at this time. I watched people flock from Visionary to Metabuff, then from Metabuff to Omeda, Omeda to Strange Matter, and now we're going to see the hype train head over to Soul Eve. That fucking train has got to stop somewhere, or it's eventually just going to derail. Time will only tell what happens, but rest assured, I'll be here to watch it all happen and report back to you. This is the Man Goose signing off. You guys have a good one. Man Goose!